Okay, hold on. We're no, live. No, I don't want to no, talk no. about this. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this. Sir. The I'll, war I'll... game and threads. Yeah, Everything war game. Was clear. Everything was clear, James. We can okay. talk about it after. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hold okay. On. So this, this episode, uh, we're talking about these two films, which are basic. So basically, both of them are about, like, showing us what the repercussions of a nuclear war would be like, like for real, for actual people who survived. And to give you a sneak peek, it's not good. It's very, very bad and destructive. Like it's, the thing about a nuclear war is like, you hope that you die right away. Yes. Okay. The best thing to happen in a nuclear war is that you're within the blast radius. So then you get incinerated immediately because if you don't get incinerated immediately, the even wor- there's like four or five even worse things that happen to you. Yes. And these movies kind of detail it. So we'll talk about that. But yes. these films both use this kind of pseudo documentary style where it's like documentary filmmakers, but the people are actors, but they're acting it as if it, they were real people. And I just think it does a great job of like showing us what would happen and how, how fucked up and yeah. bad nuclear. It, it's, it, you know, people just think, because, you know, it's so simple. Like, someone presses a button and then people die. Well, but- my thing with that, though, Ibrahim, people think that. And I'll say, like, for here, for example, if we're if our country, I'm not going to say us because I'm not beef with anybody. If our country's beef with another country and then people are, oh, just go blow up the whole country, drop a nuke on it. I'm like, that's some fucked up shit that, like, yeah. really, think I always thought it was fucked up. I'm like, that really think about that. That's some really fucked up shit to say. And if you see something like this, you're just like, so... Because of whatever whatever happens, you're gonna blow up this country, and then this like it's destroyed. It's gonna be destroyed for years. It's gonna take. It takes. I always say shit like this. Well, not always. But I'll say shit like this. Like it takes. Let's just say it takes five minutes to blow up this whole country, but it's gonna take years, maybe decades, maybe a century, centuries, centuries yeah. for it to build back up to where it was, and then to get it to where it would be, like say nowadays. And all the innocent people that died had nothing to exactly. do with it. Exactly. And it, it, it's so crazy because it's just like what's crazy and wild about it, like the way that both these films portrayed shit is like everything's destroyed to where the most important fucking thing is food and water. Like literally, yeah. there was a part in the one of the, I don't remember which one it was. Exactly. I think it was Threads. The rations. You're probably right. Where the guy, well, not, not that part, where the guy was offering one guy, like somebody was like, someone offered me. I forgot how much money it was. Let's oh, just, it was like, yeah, it was like a thousand pounds or, or a thousand, something like that. Yeah, a thousand for, for bread. But he was like, this bread is too, I, I can't because I need to eat. I need to survive. Like, Yeah, you can't eat the money. And normally yeah. you go to the grocery store, but obviously they're gone. But I did, here's one thing I did love about the film, though, and it's so fucked up and sad because it still goes on to this day. When a, when a disaster is about to happen, Prices go up, like okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Money go. Sure the the panic. And it's not going to be toys and bullshit. It's going to be food, what, like everything that you toilet need paper goes up. Yes. Toilet paper. Yeah. COVID. <laughs> COVID. Yeah. But, for uh, no reason, because everything gets destroyed. What's yes. that money doing for you? You're rich for nothing. But no, what I liked about that scene, though, is when, like, once the sirens started going off, what I was going on, everybody just ran out the store with yeah, their fucking free. Like, no, <laughs> and I love how people actually called him out. Like, we're going through this war this nuclear war and you are upping the prices on everything why like why are you trying to get rich yeah made no sense but that's what it is it's greed man money like people automatically think money first Mm -hmm. by the way so the war game is probably the shortest film we may ever review (laughs) that's true i was shocked honestly yeah it's it's pretty short it's it's kind of I don't know. Anyway, it's short, but it's very good. It's very, very good. And I feel like these are good to put together because Threads is kind of like a longer version of what the war game sets up. Yep. You know, same idea, same country, same premise, but Mm -hmm. Threads really goes into all the details of how fucked up shit will get. This. Um, Yeah. I just wanted to say this really quick. I didn't mean to cut you off, but these two films right here can easily be one film. Easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this 48. Yes, you yes. heard that right, people. Ibrahim, he picks all the movies on the show. He picked a film that was 48 minutes. Usually his films Not are like right. two hours at least. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. In this 48 minutes, you've seen more than you've seen in a lot of three-hour films. It felt like a full-length movie, yeah. 
like so yeah. much in it it's like yeah. it was crazy <laughs> it was yeah exactly exactly so like one of the things of, yeah. i want to talk about in this film the war game so like um, there's a couple of things. So first off, like they they say, okay, this war is going to happen, and they immediately start rationing people. They give people rationing cards, right? And then the second thing they do is they start either evacuating people. So there's mass evacuations, mm -hmm. but there's also what's called quartering, which is someone goes to your house and says, okay, so you have to leave, and we're going to have soldiers live in your house, and you have no say. Yep. Yep. That's fucked which up. is fucking crazy. <laughs> which That's is actually. Yeah. And again, it's interesting that this is something that happens. They're presenting this in um, in England because this we in our constitution in the United States there are specific laws that prohibit quartering for this reason because they this you know there have been other events in the history of Europe and the UK and other places where something bad happened. So we're gonna have some soldiers just go into your house and we'll maybe yeah. compensate you, maybe not. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a common thing in other countries where they just say, okay, these soldiers, they're going to stay here. You are going to leave. You have yeah. to period or else we'll either arrest you or we'll kill you. Now, <laughs> I, did I'm getting, I think I'm getting a little bit mixed up because did both movies do that or did I re look at it wrong? Because I could have sworn they were saying, cause I remember one guy, you know, someone comes to his house and he said, eight people, eight extra people are going to be living in your house. He's like, I can't yeah, yeah. that. And they yeah. were like, that. That's the war game. That's the war game. Okay. Okay. They're like, you have no choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you have, have no, no choice. choice. Yeah. This, isn't, this isn't up for debate. This isn't up for discussion. This is what's happening. Yeah. That's the thing too. And then you have to provide for these people. These are some random ass dudes. Where <laughs> there's no food and everything already. There's no food. <laughs> yeah. You're like, how am I going to feed these motherfuckers? Man? Are, are you going to feed us? Is it different? Does the soldiers come with food? Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. come on in. If you're going to feed me, I'm starving yeah, to death here. Shit. Yeah, it, it's it, and another thing. It's so like with bread. Bread is fucking no, bread. Like bread is easy it's, and it's it, filling. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking when I was watching the movie. Both these films, and I was also thinking of uh, going back to uh, <laughs> going back to one of our favorites, a uh, true when they're eating the the bread and like the there there's just certain things they're eating during those times, but in prison, and then it's like okay, you're broke. You think because you're free, you're good, but you're broke. You're in a war torn country, and bread is like the only thing. Only bread thing. Is, bread is eat. like money, man. That's yeah. exactly what it was like. It's just a grain. It's easy to make. You fucking bake it, and you hand it out loaves. Like that's it. Everything else is like more of a process to make. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's crazy. Like bread said, is. It's crazy. Yeah, Everywhere. and I mean, somebody got killed for bread in this movie. Yeah, <laughs> killed for bread. Shot in the fucking back for stealing yeah. two loaves of bread. Yeah. Oh, all oh, the kids or no? Yeah. Were they kids? Were they kids? Maybe young teens. Maybe, maybe yeah. They were running to one dude got shot in the back. Yeah. Oh, there was the girl. That's right. I think we're mixing movies now. Was that was that threads? It, it, it's tough. Yeah. I mean, no, it was threads. I, they do kind of they do kind of blend together. It, yeah, they it's, do. It's it's ball, guys. I think. Well, the thing is, threads is actually even worse yes. of a scenario that they're presenting. They're presenting yeah. and and they really depict it in an even more morose mm. way it's really fucking dark <laughs> in threads it is you uh, know because you got because like in threads the woman's pregnant and shit and oh, um she's super desperate and her family is like totally fucked over and yeah, yeah there's like yeah people you she know wanted, she wanted the baby to die because the uh, uh the uh the father she was like where's the father i don't want him uh yeah he's dead he's dead already he was outside like on his way to her or something when the fucking blast went on. Yeah, Some he, was, shit. he was vaporized. And it's crazy the steps of the blast. First is oh, a yeah. heat. Like the brightness, you can burn your eyeballs out. Yes, there was like a I'm kid. Like, in one of them, yeah. there's a kid out there who sees it and then he's blinded yeah. because of the flash. I just fry. Then you get the heat wave and your furniture and shit catch on fire. Third degree burns. Then here comes the shock waves. Like a yeah. fucking earthquake. Like something just plowed yeah. through your fucking house. Yeah. It was wild and that yeah. shit is god damn like you said and, i i would want to die you, i would yeah. like run towards it the fucking just the die instantly system. because because yeah so so if you don't die in the explosion there's a fire all your shit catches on fire so you have to get out of a massive fire if you get out of that then there's just the fallout the fallout can kill you slowly and that's a really bad way to die from radiation poison radiation poison oh my god Star the, ash, yeah. the ash and so so then so then if you survive the radiation poisoning and the fire then you're probably going to starve yeah to death. 
didn't somebody say to him again i'm gonna mix these films up people i'm i apologize because they were so fucking close but in one of the films if not both of them because there was a lot of things where they kind of overlapped things they just one just went deeper into it mm-hmm. or was more vivid with it which was tread threads threads i don't know why i keep saying treads but threads but anyway um oh fuck i, I just had it tip my tongue and it went away i'll give me a it'll come back guys it'll come back so okay and so then if you if you don't starve to death if you somehow do that then dust gets up into the air these particles so now it's like the fucking ice age yeah and it gets extremely cold and it then people the freeze yeah. to death that's yep. what now, okay just from you finishing that state saying that statement i remember what i was going to say one of the films someone was basically saying like if you don't die right away it sucks because of all the things we just mentioned Our, yeah yeah our it was like it was like a was yeah it was like a ten year cycle they they went through was it ten yeah years? it's like a ten year cycle and it was threats, still yeah. it was still like yeah frozen like it, the, it's the like, <laughs> it's basically fucking die, wild let's say let's just because I don't know how long it took people to die for all that but when you know let's just say die within the first five minutes of this shit or suffer years for the next possible let's just say suffer for the next. Maybe for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life, yeah. Yeah, the rest or of your suffer life, yeah. for the rest of your life because of all this shit that's been going on. Whether so, it's five years, ten years, or you fucking live to your 70 somehow. Yeah, it depends how close you are with the radiation, too. There's, like, yeah. high levels of radiation the closer you are. That's how, like, the parents were throwing up in the shit in the house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then there's some people who are farther out. It's, like, a slow kill of radiation yeah. and shit. So it... Yeah, and Threads, they talk about... The thing that really got to me was like they talked about so like they said 17 to 38 million people would die in England. So that's probably at the time, I don't know, probably close to 67 percent of the population. Mm -hmm. And they said that the population would be at medieval levels. And not only that, but the society is at medieval levels. Mm -hmm. Basically, people are back to being serfs and you're out there like the government. And that's the thing, too, in threads, they do a really good job of like the government is kind of they're not okay, but they're doing better than the people who are totally fucked, right? Yeah. So the yeah. government is still trying to exist. And so there are cops and the cops are out there basically killing people who steal or who are just trying to survive. And they're trying to like still uphold some type of society and law, but they, everyone else is completely fucked. They're just scavenging for food. Mm-hmm. They are living basically subsistence, subsistence. So they have to like grow the food that they eat, but they can't like trade or do anything. So they're not really, getting ahead you're just surviving you're living to live not for any other reason yeah basically and the government is struggling to like feed people i think in one of them they said like it would take two weeks so after after the attack after the nuke it would take them two weeks to deliver any food any food that's crazy it's two weeks without food yeah yeah and again what what makes it even worse and sadder is the fact that this shit really happens this shit not happened happens still to this fucking day which make to me makes no fucking sense like you can't figure out a way to solve issues without killing but at the same time you want to blame just to throw this in there because it kind of mixes in you want to blame like society like as far as a like, gang culture like violence on gang culture but it's like this this is just bred not just in america but around the world like this goes on all around the world all the fucking time with these wars and shit there's wars going on we don't even fucking know about yeah. It's it's yeah. crazy, but just to just like seeing it on these movies, seeing it on these films, like you were saying, how it's a pseudo doc. It, lo- it seemed just like because I love watching docs. This was like watching a documentary, but like watching a few different families instead of, instead of getting like just the overview of it of like this is what happened, blah blah blah. Here's some pictures, here's some videos. It's like no, here's like the up close scene. Here's the motherfucker that came like somehow didn't get hurt, did like nothing happened. They flew this like the newscaster and whatever, and this is what's going on here now. Yeah. That's yeah, what this yeah. movie showed. Like we're gonna follow these few people around. It was like a reality show, but not scripted. I know it was a movie scripted. You guys know what I mean. Like it was just it's I was just like they did an amazing job with these fucking films. They did an amazing job with yeah. the way they told the story and the way they just showed what war really is. Cause a lot of war movies, especially the Americanized ones, they make war movies feel like I don't want to say cool. It's but propaganda. It's yeah. like, oh yeah, we went to war. Yeah, champion heroes. But this is like, okay, yes, we went to war. We're in a war. This is what war really. Re- this is what it really looks like and feels like. Especially it's, nuclear war. This is the yeah. aftermath of shit. Yeah, that's that, that's what I mean. They they don't show the aftermath. Like they'll show. 
as far as like if it's an Americanized one, they'll show you know America winning whatever war they're in, wherever they're fighting. They'll show like that last scene where somebody blows up and dies, or like one of the last scenes where the you know the big guy dies. <laughs> they come home walking in the slow motion off the fucking planes and jets. Mm-hmm. Their families are all back. happy. Yeah. And it's it's just like a, a, you know what I mean it's like a happy story and there's nothing happy about that. Versus this is showing like the truth. It's like it's like it's American washed. I guess I don't want to say white washed. I'll say American washed. Versus here's the fucking truth of what happens in war. Here's what happens when you when win or lose. If you're in this one, you know say here's what happens on the other side. Here's what happens what they don't show you. Like this is what happens to this country of people just like yourselves. This is what happens to them, and they're never going to be the same again. Like hundreds, again, it would take hundreds of years to build back up to just what they were at, and at that time, it still wasn't like you know what I mean. So it's it's now wild. imagine the bombs, the, the, the technology now, the power of the bombs we have now. That's why they say if we ever go to nuclear war again, the world is done. Yeah, it's done because multiple mean, call countries have it. They're going. Everybody's going to launch one. Millions and millions and millions of people are dead. I say at that point, James, it's going to be billions. If it ever came to that, it's going to be oh, billions. Yeah. Oh, billions. yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're yeah, right. It's going to be to the po- it would end up getting to the point to where it could honestly, something like that, If especially if it was the whole world, the whole country could just be done. Like the whole world could just be done. Well, like, yeah, people, the world under. Like an asteroid hitting. Earth is going to reset <laughs> and some other new species will be here. Our dumb asses will be long gone. Like you got, Earth is like, you know, you guys destroyed me enough. Fuck this. Volcanoes, yeah. <laughs> floods, activate. <laughs> crazy yeah i mean and and that that's the thing too about this movie is like you got to take this this is just one glimpse into what would happen in the entire planet Mm -hmm. if there was a nuclear war especially like these these cold war nuclear Mm -hmm. wars because like the reality is that they would attack russia russia would attack the uk and the united states and, and western europe and then they would attack everyone else, and then the whole planet is fucked. It's the done. whole planet is whole into this planet. fucked up, crazy. It's a vicious circle. Nuclear winter, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we're all we're all in the post apocalypse, fucking, um, you freezing know, and starving to death. <laughs> freezing and starving to death because a couple of people pushed a button. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. Don't. That's fuck crazy. The, listen, you guys, don't fuck the podcast up. Here's what you bitch ass fools need to do. You guys that all have these beefs with each other, just fist fight. Yeah, fight it out yourselves. <laughs> yeah, boxing matches. <laughs> no, I'm being, I'm like, when I say that, like, I'm joking, but I'm being serious. Just imagine if, like, the Olympics was, like, the leaders or whatever that's in charge of all this shit was them fighting each other to solve their issues instead of everybody else, instead of sending everybody else's families, not theirs, of course, but everyone else's families and children to go die off for something that we don't even know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> and at the end of the day, like, I don't know why the fuck you two are beefing. Mm. Yeah. Just, you guys get together, you box, do have some MMA matches, whatever you want to do, have it sanctioned, and go from there. It's simple. It's all yeah, about so, power, man. So another thing in Threads was they said, so okay, so after the nuke hits, two-thirds of all houses would be in the fire zones. They'd be Two-thirds of all houses would be on fire, immediately on fire. Wild. So even if you survive, the first thing that happens, you see a flash, and your fucking house... Like you're sitting in your, your couch, your couch is on fire. The drapes are on fire. Everything's on fire. And you got to rush out. And then if you get out, right, your whole fucking neighborhood's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> everything's on fire. What they call it? A firestorm? Yeah, firestorm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, firestorm. Like, like literally everything's on fire. And then after all yeah. the fire goes out, it's just everything's literally rubble. It's just. I feel like it's even worse than. um. What you say? Medieval civilization because. And the reason I say it is because one, they were you, you know, after they got they adapted to those times and they kind of figured out how to build onto it. But it's like when, once you're used to having, like it'd be like us going from this lifestyle right here to maybe like back in the fifties, minus the racism, of course, but back in the fifties or forties or fifties before all this technology and all this other shit, it'd be rough. <laughs> it'd be oh, tough. it's gonna be it's like, gonna be way back more than that. Let's you're gonna okay. have to like build your own house again. Yeah, and everything's on fire, money. ash, no water. You're gonna have to fucking dig for water again. Yeah. <laughs> you have to dig a well. <laughs> you have to dig a well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's um, fucking crazy. And uh, yeah. that's if the water's not fucking pitch- uh, radi- radiated, like it has radiation in the fucking water. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you might just drink it anyway, and then get sick. Yeah, you. Yeah, you have to because <laughs> you're gonna be so yeah. desperate. You're gonna <laughs> drink it. Yeah. It's it's uh, it's so bad. It's so fucking bad, man. And yeah, the millions and of people dead. You're outside, and it's just like. 
fried corpses and regular like dead people who starve to death or die from the radiation just laying in the streets and you're yeah. walking by them millions of do you, people do you, okay my question to you guys do you eat them because i did see a guy no, eating an animal no. you gotta eat something so at yeah. some point at some point people will get that desperate they're like we've seen that in north korea there's 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 footage of people eating other people people do but, it they get that desperate and they do eat it the thing is though the, if you look at it <laughs> they die from radiation they're they're yeah. filled with radiation you're going to eat radiation you know i don't I mean, but that's what's so fucked up about the situation, right? Because like people will do it, but they're they're gonna have a worse death. Yeah, that's the thing. Like again, just get killed in the explosion, and then you don't you're have to right. worry about all this. Stuff. I think they mentioned that with the sheep you're talking about because there was like no wounds or something. They're like it didn't die because yeah. they're like they <laughs> because he was like we're eating it anyway, so him yeah. and the chick ate it. Yeah, no cooking or nothing, just straight up, man, just fucking. Well, oh. cook, I, yeah, they got to start and, a fire and do all this other stuff. They don't. And, and again, you have thing. no power. There's no power. There's no gasoline. There's no yeah. nothing. Nothing. That's Gone. another thing. You get more diseases. You're eating fucking lamb, sheep, raw, man. <laughs> yeah. And so then, and they talked about, so then after another thing that happens. So this is another wave of things that can kill you. So there's fires. There's earthquakes. There's radiation poisoning. There's freezing to death. There's starving to death. Then... There's outbreaks of cholera, dysentery, and typhoid. Three different. So there's three different epidemics that go on all at the same time. Scurvy. Scurvy. Yeah, all that shit can kill you as well. Yeah, and then there's still other people. <laughs> there's still those yeah. other people that kill you. Yeah, <laughs> wasn't there in in threads? There was a scenario where the pregnant woman, or it was some woman, got cornered by two guys or something like that, and she had to like fight them off. One of the two of these films, there was a it was, like it was the daughter of the one that died. So the main chick in the beginning, she gave birth to a daughter. The daughter's older now. They, she fell, fought up the two guys to one chick, and she got raped. And I think got raped because she ended up pregnant. Yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. she got she had bread or something. I think he was going to try to steal. They're like, trying to get some. Bread, yeah. But then he, he tackled her down. He's like, let me just get some. I didn't know if he was talking about the bread or what, but then ended up just pregnant. So I'm going to guess it was the other thing. Too. He's trying to get both. See, it's, that's it's, another thing. You know what? That's what drives humanity right here. In a crisis like that, somehow you still want to get sex. I was just about to say that. People want to fuck all the time. Like how, man? I would be sitting there going around. My mind would be lost. That would be. I wouldn't be thinking about that. For one, honestly, I'm not all for hurting myself in that situation. You're, you're talking about years, like a mm. couple years. Mm. When would you crack and try to end yourself? It, you know, it, 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 it really depends. Um, and see, see, so the other thing too about that kind of stuff is like, and they've done studies on this. Basically, if you start seeing people do do that to themselves in mass, and it becomes kind of normalized, then people start doing it more and more and more. I you know what I'm saying? That. People, people start saying, "Oh, this is this is an option." Like in today's society, that's not really an option. We stop you, we give yeah. you help, we take you somewhere. But if it's something like this, and people are just, I'll go, yeah, no, go ahead. If, if it's something like this, where it's a, it's basically the apocalypse, yeah, and people are like, "Fuck that! I don't want to spend. I don't want to live for for thirty years where it's freezing cold. I have no food. I have to eat. Other people have to eat. Fucking, I get sick all the time." I recover, but I feel like shit. You might see tons of people do that. Yeah, stuff, honestly, I'm sure you would because you feel like you're like I'm. I'm basically dead anyway. Like you lost everybody you cared about. Fucking. That's the thing too. If you if you don't have a support system, if you don't have a system of people yeah. who care about you, the the likelihood goes way up. If like let's say that you know, James, you just you live, but your whole family, your wife, and everyone you knew is dead. Mm. They got incinerated, or, or like. You were taking care of somebody and you saw them die. That's yeah. when it, that's when that shit happened. That's when people are like, "Fucking, I'm out." That, honestly, that crossed my mind while I was watching this shit. I'm sitting there, I'm like, I I don't know if I will be able to do it. I'm like, and it especially by yourself, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, like her, she was walking by herself, just walking. She went back to the house. She first she left. I think she was out to look for the guy. Five, ended up coming back to the house. She went in for a second. Heard all the flies. She knew her parents were dead. Yeah, and she just came back out, and the grandmother was still dead right there, frozen or whatever the heck she was at, right in front door. And she just ended up fucking leaving. Yeah, she knows she's like, God damn. Yeah, I gotta move on. <clears throat> gotta move on. And, and again, like, so this woman, she gives birth to this child, 
that's another fucked up thing too, right? Like you're 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 bringing life into the post apocalyptic world. Yeah. How fucked up that is, you know. Yeah. This by child yourself, that, by the way, no yeah. doctors, just fucking push yeah. that baby out. She could have bled to death, bled out. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, again, it's going back to the medieval time. Yeah. There's no instruments to help you, you know. She even she ripped the uh the cord where her fucking teeth. Oh, the umbilical cord off. Yeah, just like, that damn, was fucking just everything. Fucking. Of course, more exposure to more diseases because of a, a baby. Well, the radiation. They don't, the baby could have been deformed. They don't know. Like, yeah, what was wrong with the baby. Anything. Yeah. Anything. You so know the one thing. Did you think that? When she found that group of people around the fire and she had her baby, they're like holding baby. Part of me felt like she did not give this baby to eat. They're not going to cook this baby over this fire, right? <laughs> Real quick, I thought they did until I seen it like close to her. I was like, "Oh, good, thank God, they didn't fucking kill this baby." <laughs> that far, they they were they were fucking Shit. with you. <laughs> I was like, but that, scared. but again, that's that's like the scary part of this this world, right? Is that too far gone? I mean, they're gonna be like, you know, there's there's a there's a full length film where she goes into this place and you see them roasting human flesh over a fire. And people that's just how they would have to live. Yep. That's how they would have to live because there's no other food. No. Nope. Human beings are probably the most plentiful food source out there. Everything else is dead or toxic or something. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it sucks, but like people are gonna do it because there's some some, you know, it's not gonna be a ton of people, and that's the thing too. These scenarios they self-select. The people who are gonna survive are gonna be the people who are willing to like push these boundaries, you know, yeah. take yeah. things from people, steal people, eat other human beings, yeah. because those are the only people. Everyone else, they're gonna either die, or they're gonna kill themselves, or they're not gonna make it. They're not gonna yeah. make it. Exactly. And so yeah, these these people are gonna. You know, they're going to be like, that's just going to be a part of how they know that they have to live. I have to live. I have a will to live. I don't want to die. I don't want to kill myself. So, you know, this old woman died. I saw her die. She looks pretty healthy. Let's throw on the Barbie. Heat her yeah. up. Let's eat her. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, basically. Fucking basically. That's, it's so crazy though, guys. It's so fucking yeah. crazy because you don't, you don't really like. I don't even know how to word this. You don't think about it. You don't think like even when you hear about wars like nowadays, you don't think about what's really going on. Even the, the little shit they show on the news, but you're not really thinking about like how that country is, how it's affecting those people. And then you see something like this, and you're just like, they gotta fight. You, you gotta, we gotta start finding other ways of solving issues with besides with <laughs> violence. And again, don't blame movies and music when violence is how everything around the world was built and how it's still being like built and taken care of. You know what I mean? There's yeah. Yeah. So don't blame that on music and all that other bullshit. Don't take the easy way out. It's, it's not, it's not that it's, don't blame that. Music I like how a reflection yeah. of it, the reality. I like how they said that they tried to prepare. They had the books. Then they're going door, give them the free, like here, read this book in case of a nuclear war. And they're like, buy these sandbags and bunkers. Um, is it just me or did that work? No. Hell, the walls still blew apart at him and caught on fire. Like, what the fuck did that do? That no, didn't do nothing. Didn't do shit. <clears throat> but doesn't it's do one shit. Of those things where you got to think about it. Like, they've nothing ever at that time for them, for them. It's never happened before. So they don't know how to. It's like, hey, fucking. It, yeah. It, it's like, okay, there's going to be something's about to happen. Okay, everybody get some sand and this, that, and the third or whatever. And it does nothing. There's there's really nothing you can do but leave the country. Yeah. <laughs> and that's if you could even fucking leave wow, the country. Yeah. I, the reality is like they and and that's why again they I know the war game they kind of list all the things that they based I think it's a little anyway so so one or both of them kind of list the things that they based the film on mm-hmm. and there were tons of uh, the United States did experiments where they dropped nukes in fucking New Mexico to see and they had little buildings of like a little you know little house with like Timmy Johnny and and mommy and daddy to see what would happen. They knew immediately that when the nukes hit, you're dead within a certain range, you're dead. They knew that. And all the other stuff that they said, Oh, well, you know, cause for a while they would do these propaganda films for kids. Oh, if you see the flash, get under your desk, you're dead. Yeah. You're dead. And they knew that you were dead, but they needed to tell people 
that they were going to live so they could perpetuate this idea that it's okay. Because if people start to think, wait a minute, so if you're telling me that if we go into a nuclear war, my children will be incinerated immediately, I'm going to die immediately. If I don't die immediately, I'm going to starve or get typhoid or get lice or fucking have to eat people, or it's going to be a mess. Then people, then the society is going to start to push back and say, "Wait a minute, this. Yeah. We need to rethink this. We need to like maybe have less nukes. Maybe have no nukes. Maybe we need to have peace." Yeah. And so this was a, you know, they, they propagate this stuff to to keep to perpetuate people thinking that this is okay, and yeah. that's why you give people sandbags because it, yeah, it, it's cheap and it's easy and it doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't actually change the outcome. Which yeah. is that you're fucking dead, and you you kind of want to hope that you're dead, because yeah. if you're not, man, you're in you're you're going through hell. You're going through hell, the fucking seven layers of hell, to survive this shit. And then at the end of it, you got to eat someone, some dead human being to, yeah. to survive. Exactly. So they knew they knew that sandbags and the this other shit well, wasn't going to do. Oh hell no, hell yeah, not going like, to do a goddamn they, thing. They showed two scenarios. They had like a poor person who can afford like eight. So he put, he's like, here, and I hit a couple extra. I put it in my garden. Then they showed the rich guy is like loaded up. Yeah. And it still didn't do nothing. Didn't do shit. Wiped him out. Again, the funny thing, what I enjoyed about these films too, again, what you guys brought up with the sandbags, is how people really are in a crisis. Like, yeah. let's not, I, you know, I mean, just because of the war thing, but let's just use, again, COVID for an example. Like, you made a joke about toilet paper. And then the food, and like, so my whole thing with that is, okay, yes, you have to stay on. Ramen. Home. Fucking ramen noodles. I went to Costco like the day when they had the shutdown. These fucking ramen noodles were gone like that. All of them. Yeah. And we're talking about the Costco where it's like 90 or something? Yeah. I, 90, I, 90 I, for like $5 or some shit like that? I can yeah. guarantee you there's people who still have those same fucking ramen, that same ramen from last year and that same exactly. toilet paper from last year. Eating it for days. Days. <laughs> Instead of just grabbing what you normally need for it. Like, yeah. they're not saying you can't go to the store. It's just like, listen, when you go, mask. So just look, go here, get it. And but what I'm getting at is it's like it's fucked up again how prices were going up for that shit last year and still now. And then for like the war torn shit with the grocery store, prices are going up, everybody just throwing shit in there. You know what I mean? Everybody's getting well war I get it. But again, but what I'm getting at is people get m- way more than what they need. Yes. Especially right. when it's not gonna do anything. Like me getting toilet paper, a bunch of toilet paper is not gonna stop COVID from happening. <laughs> it's not gonna no. change. I can wipe my ass. Oh, cool. I never understood the toilet paper. You could fucking shower. If you're yeah. out of toilet but paper, you, you, you know, know you know what's so like that that is such a perfect analogy. It's so perfect because why did people buy toilet paper? Because you see, you look over, you see a guy in a cart with like fucking mountain of toilet paper, exactly. and you paint, you're like, whoa, why is he buying that much? Do I need toilet paper now? Do I need yep. twice as much? And then you just grab it's a it's a human thing to panic, yep. and that panic causes these disruptions basically, and instead of like you know, being rational and normal, or at least having some kind of, compassion. you know, caring about other people. Yeah, compassion. Caring about other people. People just say, fuck it, man. I'm getting everything I need for you know, myself. It's like a second layer of, uh, like, a disease. Yeah. It gets passed on. It's like, for COVID, like, we're talking COVID. It's like, that's the other disease. Like you said, you've seen someone with a cart full of toilet paper. Someone sees it. Ugh, they got it now. They go buy toilet paper. And they're spreading it because everybody's copying. They're going, oh, my God. Yep. Get yep. the fucking toilet paper. And, it, and the crazy. bad part about that is, again, using the war movies and COVID, the war movie, how you're saying how with the sandbags, how the rich guy had more than he, again, I'm not even going to, let's just, let's just say it could have worked. He had way more than he would have needed. Yeah. Then you yeah. have somebody who's poor and <laughs> can only afford eight. He didn't have enough. Yeah. So it's like, where's the, and then again, with the toilet paper, it's the same shit. I'm sure there was families that couldn't afford to go out and buy 20 pack, 20 rolls of, you know, the 20 rolls of 20 rolls of toilet paper, 20 packs of 20 rolls of toilet paper. They can only afford to get one or two, if that. Or they got there too late and only get fucking nothing. Yeah. So it, it's it's just crazy how shit does change in a sense, but at the same time, it doesn't. Like, instead of sandbags, it's toilet paper and fucking food and water. It's, still, it, it's it, always food and water, but there's always something else added on. I'm yeah, just like, right. okay, what, what's going to be next? It's human what's going to be next? You think what could last what? long? I, like, besides the toilet paper. The thing is canned food. You would yeah. think people will Spam. pack up canned food before toilet paper. No, toilet paper was the big fucking thing. That was the first thing sold out. 
the fucking toilet paper. I'm like, I'm, and, I'm, and hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. And I'm, hand sanitizer. I'm just mad I didn't have, st- I didn't get stock. It's like, listen, let me know when the next crazy shit's about to happen so I can buy stock in something that you guys are going to fucking just sell out. They're of. like, yeah, what are they called? The fucking thing? And hand san- the hand sanitizer and hand soap. Again, people, how much fucking hand sanitizer and hand soap do you need? If you're the motherfuckers that weren't washing your hands then, don't pretend you're going to wash them now because of COVID, you nasty fucks. Mm-hmm. Wash your fucking hands. Yeah. No. Nah. You can go to any store and grab the big bottle of soap, grab one or two of those for your household, put it in the bathroom, wash your hands. You done using the bathroom? Wash your hands. Simple. Now all of a sudden you want to get a whole bunch of soap you're never going to fucking use because you don't wash your hands in the first place. So the thing thing I had really good timing on, it was like right before I randomly bought the camera that I'm using right now. I just bought it. I was like, oh, yeah, I need I kind of need a camera. The next fucking day, gone. (laughs) You could not buy a fucking webcam. <laughs> oh yeah, same thing with laptops because uh, people laptops uh, gone. working from mm-hmm. home and shit. Mm-hmm. Like when yeah. uh, when we shut down, our our work usually has a big supply. They had like laptops, the state. Mm-hmm. They tried to order one for everybody. They couldn't. I couldn't start working again at home for over three months before they got me a yeah. laptop. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're, well we're actually, that's not first. That's not even a laptop. Before they even got it going, where I could use my own personal computer. Mm-hmm. Then they got the laptop after. And so, so for me, James. So again, the shutdown was March of 2020, right? Yeah. yeah. I didn't start working again until sometime in July. I was still getting paid my regular salary, but I didn't get paid. I didn't start working until sometime in July until they got me a laptop. Yeah. Because because with the whole shit, like you were saying, with using your home computer. They never, like on their end, they never did their part on their end to like, hey, you know, now it's your turn to do whatever you got to do for the computer shit. So I never did it. And then by the uh, time, by the time they started sending me messages for it, James, or like calling me about it, hey, you can pick your laptop up next week. Okay. Well, I'm not fucking using my personal computer then. What's the yeah, point? Yeah. For a week or for a couple of days just to fucking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but That's it's. Sure. <sighs> you yeah. just got to think about That's Ooh. just a pandemic. Lots Lord, of, Lord, Lord, it's way Lord, worse. Lots of podcasts started in 2022. A yeah, lot well, of fucking podcasts. Yeah. And I don't mean people who already had a show that started a second or third show with friends. I mean first timers, which there's nothing wrong with that. Great. I hope your show goes great. But lots of shit like that just started. Like, oh, I want to start a podcast. podcast. It's even YouTube. People <laughs> start realizing they're cutting out the middleman. They don't yeah. need agents and everything. People are doing their own shit on yeah. YouTube. Like comedians, they're like, yo, I'll put a show on YouTube. And they're getting, you know, fucking yeah. all the views. People are getting paid. You're it's getting smart. out there. It's smart. So it opened up the technology world. Podcasts, like. You, 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 know, you know what I think is funny, though? But I will I'll throw this out here really quick. For the whole podcast, I'm not talking, I'm not bashing you if you did this. <laughs> but for the whole podcasting thing, as far as the 2020, because you're knocked down at home and fuck it, I want to start a podcast. I wonder how many of them are still going. And I'm, I'm only asking this question because it, it makes me think of every single year, New Year's, the gym memberships or the gyms are packed like January, February, and it starts dying down by like March. Yeah. <laughs> and then like April, all those new people are just gone. It's um, like, yeah, I, I cancel my membership, man. I don't have enough time. Hey, motherfucker, you knew that before you fucking signed up. <laughs> it's just a cycle. It yeah. is. It is. It's so funny how shit, how just, again, how some shit, it changed. It stays the same, and I'll say it changes, but just because it's like a different item or different product or different whatever, depending on the time period you're in and all that other shit. That's the only thing that really changes is like that that next thing that everybody has to have or whatever. All right, we're gonna spin a wheel. Let's spin this wheel. Oh yeah, the before wheel. we spin That's the right. wheel, because we basically we were basically discussing both films. Let's give a rating for both films. I gave them both an eight myself, just because it felt like the same <laughs> film to me, but they both told the stories in a great way. And like I said earlier, these can easily be just one fucking three-hour film, let's say. Yeah, so I, I gave them both a nine. Like, I really like the war game a lot, too, just because, um, yeah, I hadn't seen Threads until I think maybe this year, actually. Uh, but I've seen the war game a while back, probably 10 years ago. Um, it's It's really, like, I really like the form of how it tells the story. Mm-hmm. I really like... Because I feel like it's really effective in the way that it depicts how destructive this yeah. type of conflict yeah. would be, um, and I just think that it's just so effective. It just gets right to the point about, and just makes you think about how fucked up this shit is. It does. So yeah, I, I give them 
them both a nine for me. They both so really like you, I went Aaron with eight. So I did like threads a little bit, but like you said, you were game. The war game is like how they showed you like right off yeah. the rip and like the steps and, and like this is how it is. It's just threads had a little bit more. I like the detail of it. It was the yeah. fucking yeah. craziness. But they were both done well, so well, especially for the war games, only 48 minutes. Yeah. Done so well. It deserved it eight itself. So that's why I gave both the eight. See, and that right there gives me like a fucking, um, what was I going to say? Hang on. That right there for the war games, especially war game is just that 40. I mean, it just shows you how well that the people who, who created this film, everybody that was involved in this film, how well they did with that. Because to tell that story in 48 minutes, I could have easily been three hours. I forgot to take the war game off of here. Sorry, don't try to land on it again. They're watching it again, guys. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Oh shit! You know what? I, I was excited to see this because of the cover of this one film. Oh, okay, primer and um, coherence. Coherence. Yeah. The just the the lighting, like the crayons or whatever the fuck this shit is right here. Yeah. I was like, that's such a cool cover. I can't wait to fucking see this. Are they crayons or glow? No, they're crayons, right? Glow sticks. I don't even know what the. They fuck look they're like crayons. Well, there's something. So let me re remove right, this. I never heard these either. <laughs> okay. Sharing. Yeah. Um, I, let me see if there was any other kind of details I wanted to talk about. Yeah, it's just it's just really bad. Again, you you know, if you don't die right away, you're in a fire immediately. Yeah. Like your house, everything's on fire. Survive that, you might end up getting radiation poisoning. If you survive that, you're gonna freeze and starve. And then you might also get cholera, dysentery, typhoid, or some other lice, whatever kind of fucked up thing. And if you somehow survive all of that, well, now you're living in the fucking Stone Age. Yeah. And, you know, James, like you were saying, you have to dig a well to drink yep. water. You have to, the, the, basically, the only thing you eat is bread. You have to be afraid of other human beings because they're going to try and rape you or kill you or eat you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it, it, it's bad. I mean, it's really fucking bad. I mean, it's even, just so even bad. A lot of people had like third degree burns and shit or even, you know, worse. You're, people are dying of infections. Yeah. Oh fuck! You're dying of every like. Uh, uh, you yeah. Know, I, infection. Uh, yeah. That's a, that's actually a big one right there because it's like you don't have. You first of all, you don't have the medical technology or whatever you want to call it to help out with the radiation poisoning and all that other shit, as it is then, and the stuff you do have the stuff for is gone because it got vaporized. So it's like you're fucked. Yeah. You're there's really no hospitals. Fucked. You're walking around with fucking third degree burns or getting infected because everything is dirt. Everything's rubble. So you're yeah. like, no shower. You're not cleaning that. There's no bandages, really. If you find a bandage, like, I do like the cover of threads because we've seen that fun dude, the uh, soldier, they had the bandages around his head like that. Yeah. Walking around. I was like, so basically, you find bandages, like, you got burned, like, you try to cover your own shit. And that's but it. It's not, it's, that's it. It's really that's not it, cleaning yeah. out. You're not having antibiotics. You're not yeah. having nothing. Yeah. It's fucking, oh my God. That, it, that like I said, Showing this, this is how this can happen today. That yeah. shit, what makes this scary? It's scary shit. Yeah, and yeah. that that's a great fucking point you said, James. Because just, I, mean, I don't want this to happen anywhere around. I don't care if it's here or anywhere. I don't want it to happen to anybody. Nobody deserves that. But just imagine if that happens all around the world like this. So we're going from what we live at now, which is way, way, way ahead of these times. To going to where they're living just like this. But of course, we have, we're smarter, we're more intelligent, yes, and all this other stuff. And it's like, yes, we had that technology, all that technology is gone because it got vaporized. Like your cell phone, gone. Fucking podcast, gone. I had to throw it in there. But seriously, though, so it's like, you're going from these times now to way back then. And I honestly feel like I could be wrong about this, but I honestly feel like nowadays people care about each other less than they did way back then. So it may be tougher to survive because people people are more so about me, 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 even more so now than what was this? This is in the 60s. Based. So one takes place in the 80s. So Threads takes place in the 80s, I believe. Okay. And the other one takes place in the 60s, uh, the war game. Was, so one of them, 40, was one of them the Cold War? They're both the Cold War. 
Oh, they're both the Colts. I mean, in Threads, they they detail it. It's kind of in the background, but basically what happens is there's some type of conflict between NATO and Russia in Europe, okay. uh, and it turns into a shooting war. And they even talk about, like, they, and this is the funny thing, too. So, like, they have, they have, like, nukes, right? And then they have what they call usable nukes, which are nukes with, a, like, like, a less dense payload so that it's not going to completely annihilate the target. Mm-hmm. And so they actually, I'm pretty sure in Threads, we see them fire off uh, uh, one of those weapons. Off the truck. It's it, off it, truck. It like a regular missile. Yeah. Yeah, like, and it's a nuke. It's like a thousand, it's a pound, thousand ton or something like that. Yeah. But it's not the big boy. It wasn't like, it, was it, what they saw, call it John, something John? Um, Proud John or, I, they had a nickname. I mean, they, about, yeah. they, they mm-hmm. named their bombs. Yeah. So, yeah, fucking God, yeah, it's crazy. Like, it, it's 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 crazy because, I mean, the fact that you have what you call a usable nuke, and then there are other nukes that are so powerful that there's almost not a point in. But like, why do we have that weapon? I, I don't. If know. there's not even a point in shooting it, to end the world. That's what it is. Yeah, seriously. That's the that's cool. the point. Is to end to, to end civilization, as we know on. It. On, on planet Earth. <laughs> yeah. That is the only purpose of having this thing. The purpose of having it is to have it so that you can scare your opponent. But then... It's, it's, it's the biggest dick contest. Totally. Basically. Totally. Totally. Honestly, James, that's probably the best way to... Because, that could, because you know, that's like the most braggadocious thing to say. Basically. I got the bigger bomb than you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah basically. And the, the thing, too, is at this point, we had bombs... Both sides had bombs um, that were way more powerful than Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I mean, orders of magnitude more powerful, which is fucking crazy and scary. Yeah. Because what happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki was so destructive. It's like one of the worst things that has ever happened to human beings, like that, that, yeah. that they got nuked. And, you know, I mean, imagine if there was some conflict and they fired you know, something that's a hundred times as powerful over New York city, the number of people that die instantly. And then again, again, this is the most important part. Dying instantly is like the good part. You know, it sucks. Yeah. You're dead. But if you're in New York fucking city you, and you, you're somewhere where you lived, dude, man, like that is, that is, that is the, the apocalypse. That is the definition of the worst place to be for a human being in the history of humanity. That you're alive in in post new New York City, and you have to live, and there's fucking people scrambling all over the place. People are burned and dying, and civilization collapses, but there's still tons of people around. Mm-mm. Well, what Oof. I was going to say, Ibrahim, is you're you're mentioning New York City, right? Mm-hmm. And as far as like dying right away or suffering through whatever, nine eleven is a great example of that. Like, just think of. Yeah. Which rest in peace to everybody, of course. But just think of the people who died in that instant, just in the just that hit the twin towers. I'm not even talking about all the other stuff. Just that hit the twin towers, and then as far as like the firefighters that went in there, the police officers, and everybody that went in there to help, and the ones that survived from that moment that are dying like around because of what happened with their breathing in and all that other shit. And that wasn't. It was horrible. It was horrific. It was terrible. It was disgusting. But it wasn't even half as bad as this shit. It wasn't even no. half as bad as what we've seen in these, and it's. Again, why do why are these type of weapons here? Why are they made? Why is there? I don't think there should be any type of weapon where you can kill thousands and thousands of people within seconds. Maybe, you know, that's just how I feel. Doesn't mean I'm not, you know, if you have a gun legally cool, fine. I don't care. But dude, there should be no weapon that can take that many lives like that. That's fucking ridiculous. What's the point of it? What's the serious point of that? Like, oh, I want to protect myself. What happened to using these? What happened to using these? You get your ass kicked, so fucking what? You're still breathing. You win the fight, cool. You're still breathing. Like, you yeah. get into a little fist fight, a little scuffle, and that's it. And now it's just pulling out the weapons faster and faster. And it's like trying to justify it. Oh, well, uh, I, blah, blah, nah, fuck. There's no, to me, there's no justification for shit like this. It's a power. It's a race who could build the biggest. It's just like the space project, like who hit space first. It's like yeah. it's like a it's part of like power and competition at the same time. It, I mean, it's it's it's, it's like, basically it, what you're saying the biggest dick contest of fucking disgusting egos and all that other dumb yeah. shit instead of just 
But <laughs> that's why all the that's why they say all the monsters out there, the scariest are humans. By far. Oh yeah. Humans are really scary. And yeah. I mean I mean just so, like imagine being a deer or something, you know, it's out in the woods eating minding his fucking business. And then gets and then gets vaporized. <laughs> yeah, fucking Cause it's, cause it's something because of something people cause. Yeah, I because of something <laughs> I, 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 I try to shy away. Yes, I know I'm human. I know we're all people. But I, I try to shy away from saying we in those terms because it's like we had nothing to do with that. That was you motherfuckers up with the power that don't have to. Yeah, they're pressing yeah. the button. Yeah. Yeah, you're pushing the button because you don't have to go through this because it's like, okay, I know where this nuke is going to hit. And I know if they shoot a nuke at us where they're going to be aiming for, for the most part. So I'm going to go way the fuck over here where even if it gets this far, the aftermath of it, by the time it gets to me, I'll be gone somewhere else. Everyone else has to deal with that. They don't want to tell you that either. It's like, okay, yeah, you'll be okay. You know, here's some bread and hot dogs and beans. You'll yeah. be okay. But it's, it's, yeah, it's a lot into it. It's like something like we can end it quick so this don't drag out. But then they don't realize it drags out anyways because now you just – there's going to be people – they're going to fire back. And it turns into a war for a decade. Decades, you know what I'm saying? It's like, mm -hmm. why? You know, just – I don't know. It's – it makes no sense. Like, I got a question for you, Ibrahim. Because mm -hmm. these picks so far, these movies that you've been picking have been fucking phenomenal. I can't wait to do these next two, which we'll discuss off air when we're going to record again. But um, what did you think, James and I, especially me, but what did you think yeah. we were going to rate these movies? Like, what was your... I you wasn't really sure. My, my biggest thing was whether or not you would like the way that it's told. Mm -hmm. I feel like that was the biggest thing about whether or not it would. Um, but, but you know, again, this is kind of why I want to do this, because I, I kind of want to see what people think, okay. people who would never watch this stuff think, because yeah. I know how it, may, it affects me. And again, like this is why this conversation is so kind of fruitful, is that, you know, uh, Aaron, it's a lot of the stuff that I felt when I watched these films, mm -hmm. especially the war game when I watched that. And it's just like it makes you feel like, whoa, this is this is really bad. This is really scary. This is crazy. How can we do this to each other? Uh, yeah. How is this, how is this okay that we can have a system where people, someone presses a button in Washington DC and then the entire human race, billions of people just die and, instantly. And he, here's, here, now here's my thing with that. And this is no disrespect to the military and all that respect to all the militaries to the military, whatever. But um, my thing is, it's like, so again, Say we're in the military, right? And there's a war going on. We all, us three, are have to go to, and we're on like the front lines having to kill people, right? People you've never met, never had an issue with. So it's okay for us to go ahead and do that. But if somebody kills somebody, ugh, I want to, I, I don't want to put it out in the air like that. So I'll just say, do you, either of you have a brother named Frank? No. Somebody kills your brother, Frank. I'm only saying that because you don't have, because it, it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. You go ahead and say nothing happens legally, whatever. You go ahead and you kill that person that kills your brother. You're a criminal. You're locked up for basically doing what the government's having you do, going over, you know, going to another country and destroying it because they have a beef with them because of whatever, mainly because of money and power. That's what it all that's at the end of it, it's what it comes to. So what makes that right? But makes the, to me, your a life is a life. I, don't, I really don't give a shit. Yeah. Like honestly, a life is a life. No matter how I feel, but there's people I don't like. I don't wish death upon them. Actually, people that I don't like. I wish you health. And, you know, as long as you're not hurting anybody or fucking with me, I wish you the best of your life. Well, we're coming you. with war. I think they say you're they're basically you're protecting your country and your allies. But if you kill, if someone kills your brother and you go and kill that person, that's a personal vendetta. But basically. it's me. It's me. It's like, look, OK, this person got off from killing our brother, Frank. But, and I'm, you know, and we're locked up. But at the same time, you want me to go over here to this other country I've never fucking even heard of, let alone been, let alone been to, and destroy this country because you guys have a beef. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you take the government? Over there? The government sanctions it. I mean, that's, that's really the whole thing. All of this stuff, the government sanctions these murders. And yeah. with nuclear war, it's government sanctioned genocide of human beings that's and, what it would be the, the crazy yeah. thing and this movie these movies have really like brought these thoughts out even more so because i've said this ever since i was even like a kid like how is war right but revenge on something that personally happens to you is wrong like how is one right killing people again killing people 
versus killing a person that may have done you wrong to where you know what I mean. And I, and I don't mean like done you wrong, like stole my. I mean like say they killed again Frank. They killed your brother Frank. If you have a brother named Frank, people think of a name of somebody that's not related to you. That's what I mean by that, or somebody you know what I mean. And it's like that would be wrong. That would be fucking one hundred percent wrong. Which is just weird to me. To me, both are wrong. To me, both are wrong. Like if you're, if you're the only way I feel is justified to kill somebody. I won't even say that. I was gonna say if you're if you're defending your own life, it's like okay, are you, you know, defending your life or your loved ones, like right here in the moment. But going out and doing it, that doesn't make sense. Like I'm just gonna do it to do it, or I'm gonna do it, you know, because you did this, or I'm gonna go to this country and do this because you told me to do it. Like what's. <sighs> It's it's just so weird because these films really make you think of like how the world is, and how they portray things on certain things, especially with again, because we're reviewing these film because we're reviewing this film later with Straight Outta Compton, like how they blame with the music as I was saying earlier in movies. Okay, this is why people are so violent because of music and movies. But it's like, what do we learn since so since, since you learn about social studies, you're learning about war. Think about that. Since you first learn about social studies, you're learning about war. And it, it never stops from there. And then it goes to old, you know, middle school, high school, whatever. If you go to college, for if you take that type of course, like with, you know, more history shit. If you watch the History Channel, certain movies, yes, you watch. That, but I mean, certain movies are, uh, matter of fact, I'll take that back. Documentaries based on these films, based on, you know, war times and all this other shit. And again, it's like, it just makes no fucking sense to me. It really doesn't. I wish that there was a better way for people to solve issues without killing each other even if you had the fist fight again fist fighting i don't think it's wrong but i think it should be to the point where it's like okay let's do it the right way now instead of like a street fist fight where you're beating the hell out of each other and nobody breaks it up like the guy's knocked out and you're still punching him no once the person's knocked out let it go but let's do it in a ring let's do it in an octagon and then go from there see and i'm being dead serious with that even if it's not like the head leaders let's say around the country because they're fucking old and soft let it be their underlings. Let it be somebody who's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to represent America. Basically, like the Olympics, seriously. I'm going to represent America in this fight. I'm going to represent whoever in this. And boom, boom, boom. Figure out a way. If you have to, if you have to, if you feel like you have to fight, do it like that. Don't just kill each other because that's, that's really not solving anything at all. And they tell us, as far as history goes, oh, here, here's the fucking stupid ass line I hate. They teach history so history doesn't repeat itself. But history's been on repeat since day one. So what the fuck is like? like <laughs> what what's the point? What's the point? No. So if you really like, I'm not trying to be like. If you really think about it, these war movies they they fucking make you like, wow, this is fucking scary, sad, upsetting. And what's worse about it is, or what's the most upsetting and scary about it is, it can happen today. It can happen tomorrow. It can happen thirty years from now, with the press of a fucking button. That's wild. That shouldn't even exist. Like yeah, instead yeah. of having that button to blow shit up, why can't you push a button to help people? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you're hungry, boom. Here's some food. Here's some supplies. Here's some money. Here's a place to stay. Here's a job. Yeah. It, it 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 makes you th- like for me. It's making me think of all kinds of things. The bullshit borders. <laughs> I think that's fucking stupid. Like again, yeah. it's one fucking planet. It's Earth. We're all gonna yeah, die yeah. one day. We don't own the land. Yes, you may own your house and i say that in quotes but you may own your property and all that but you don't own the land like once you're gone once your legacy you know once your generation's gone your family's gone and all that your bloodline's gone you're gone and then that shit just goes to somebody else yeah it's it's so so aaron it's like um one of so one of the things i really like is like there are certain things in history that aren't really talked about and so Mm -hmm. one of the things um one of my like favorite like weird historical stories was um during the cuban missile crisis there was an event that happened where they sent this submarine the russians did to cuba so they send this russian the submarine there and they were sent basically on it was almost like a secret mission in a way Mm -hmm. um so basically halfway across the sea the 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 people who sent them told them oh by the way you have nukes and uh, we're sending you to Russia because we're sending you to Cuba because there's a there's a big conflict now, and your orders are, um, if you guys lose contact, you fire the weapons, and if not, stand by for us to tell you what to do. So they, okay, they go to Cuba, they get into Cuba, and then um, because the Cuban Missile Crisis was happening, the United States was 
basically they were they were having planes drop death charges into the water. So so that's basically it's like a bomb Dangerous. or a grenade that goes off and it fucks with the submarines. So this so one of these submarines was down there. They lost contact with Russia. They didn't know what was happening. Um, the their entire sub started to malfunction and then it started to heat up. Wow. And then there was a debate amongst three people. This is this actually happened. Three people and they decided I think so someone said, one of the three of them said, I think the war's already started. We need to we need to press the bomb now and nuke them. Nuke the United States. And one this is not this is not a joke. I'm not making this up. This Definitely. actually happened. One person said no. And his name was Vasily Ark, Ark, I don't know how to say his last name, Arkpayev, Ark, Arkhipov, something like that. This one guy said no. One person said no. One person in the history of humanity stopped said. a nuclear war from happening. Wow. That's one amazing. person. One person. One Russian guy. The world and, would be different right now if he didn't do that, huh? Well, yeah, totally different. What we saw in this film could have happened. Now, where would that planet. missile hit? Did they say where it would have hit? It would have probably hit Florida. And then God, yeah. there would have been a response. And then, the you know, then it's over. Then um, they would have, the United States would have responded, sending missiles to Russia. Russia would have responded, hitting the United States. And then that would have been it. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then Russia hits, hits Europe. Europe hits Russia, blah, blah, blah. Everyone's dead. So wow. one guy, this guy, Vasily, Vasily Arkhipayev, Arkhipayev, or however you say his name. One guy prevented the human race from destroying itself because he was just the right guy at the right time. He just felt like, you know, I don't think I want to press this button and destroy the human race. But you know, I, I think, think this is a good idea, gentlemen. Wow. I, 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 I think I'd rather die. I would rather die in this in this submarine and drown or whatever happens than be responsible for annihilating billions of human beings. Wow. It's just it's so fucking dangerous how this shit comes to play but like you know the thing that really thinking about this these films and that incident is that there's something in human beings inherently where they don't want to do it you know what i'm saying they don't want to be the one to like cause the pain there's that empathetic factor and this guy had empathy in that moment he said i can't do this like do you know what we're gonna do if we push this button if we push this button the entire human race is over Basically. Yeah, yeah. And it's and, not just you and me. It's billions of people later on who are going to be born, are going to be born into this post apocalyptic world. This yeah. world that we watched in this movie. That would have mm-hmm. been reality for basically our parents. Our parents would have either died instantly or they would have had to live through this crazy shit. And you know? then again, you got to think of if, let's just say, we were all born into this shit. Oh, you're dude, fucked. Yeah. Like it's just. It, uh, again, I wish and I hope that, that I know it won't, but I wish and I hope that all that type of shit would just stop because it solves nothing. Like at the end of the day, it solves nothing because there's still wars going on. If war solves yeah. something, put it this way: if wars, if wars, if war, if wars solved issues, there would be no more wars. After yeah. like the very first war, let's say second war, even there'd be no more. There'd be no like, okay, well, maybe we should figure it out this way because. Uh, this, this let's button. let's just be uh, glad that uh, that button's not as easy to hit anymore. No one's actually just running to it and hitting the button. No, so now, don't that. get me wrong; they're still launching missiles like fucking yeah. cross. That people are getting shot with. Uh, yeah, no, I, missiles, I, I know what you mean. You're, it's you're not the like, it's not the nukes, you know. It's not the one that's going to end everything, you know. Yeah, like, it's like yeah, it's so. like the, the button probably says, "Okay, all right, I'm beefing with them, 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 them. I can't fight." So let me just let me just hit end civilization. You know, let's let's just end civilization right yeah. now. Let's just hit that button yeah. and see what happens. Yeah. So I for me that's like the big takeaway of this is like there there was a moment in human history, and there've been a couple moments really where the this almost became a reality, yeah. and that's why, and it can again. It could again. Maybe there's another thing where something fucked up happens and someone presses the button. But even even like you're saying, Aaron, and I think that's such a great point. It's like even if it was just some country nuking another country, that's super fucked up, man. Mm-hmm. To do that to another group of people, 
and that, that subject them to this. That yo, that that is a problem with people though. Is they pretend they really care about other people, but they really don't. They really don't. Like me, I'm a person who genuinely cares about other people. Like, as far as like what we're talking about with this conversation, as far as like. Again, I'm going back really quick to the border shit. If you're trying to find a better life for your family, you shouldn't have to have a fucking car. Or stuff. Okay, yeah, you can come. No, fuck that. Come over yeah. here. You're, if, and you're making, a, and you're doing an honest living. It's not what pussy ass Trump said about the criminals and all this other shit. There's already enough criminals here. It's good people coming here that are trying to find a better life for their families. And I try to say this to people I'm like, what would you do for you people that are so, oh, build a wall? Fuck you guys. But what would you guys do, you build the wall people do, if that was your family in that situation? And then you know, if I go over here, I may not survive the travel. I may get kicked out of the country, but my children will be okay. My children will survive. You motherfuckers will be doing the same thing. And how do I know this? Because you did this. You fucking colonizers did it already all around the fucking world. <laughs> Basically what you already did. Mm. But no, seriously, though, like it, like this, this movie just brings out all that shit of like, People are fucked. People are really the worst thing that happened to the world. And I'm not yeah. saying everybody. There's people in a general statement, not everybody, but people are the worst thing that happens to the world because animals don't act like that. Animals kill to survive and eat and protect themselves. That's it. That's the only reason why. As far as, like, you know, when animals are killing other animals, they got to eat. People do it just because. Like, at the end of the day, you do it just because. You're doing it <laughs> just because. You're not doing it because you have to eat. You're not doing it because you're going to kill this person and eat them. Like how a fucking wolf would kill a moose or wolves would kill like a moose or something and then take that back and eat it and you know bring feed their family with it you're killing a person just because for power that's ridiculous mm. cut that shit out learn how to fight <laughs> something yeah beat i mean there's 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 a lot to think about with these movies um yeah. beat, your meat before, yeah. beat your meat before you make a decision to push that button that's the stress reliever right there like let that explode first if you still feel that way <laughs> Beat me <meat> again. <laughs> oh man! Interesting way to put it. Yeah, no, seriously though, because like you have to. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have all. I don't have any yeah. of the answers. I just feel like there's, there's. By now, people say we're in 2021. We should be accepting this, that, and the third. We're in 2021. We should not be accepting fucking wars and all that bullshit anymore. There should be other ways. If we're until if we are, ex and I'm not gonna say that. But if we're supposed to be accepting of everybody, and it's not just, we're, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, it's America. We got to be accept accepting of American. No, we got to be accepting of everybody. Accepting of everybody. And that's just, it's really not that hard. It's a lot, it's actually yeah. a lot easier to be nice than it is to be mean. Being mean and being an asshole and all that shit, being angry all the time, it's a waste of fucking, it's too much damn energy. Trust me, I can tell you that firsthand. Too much fucking energy, being mad all the fucking time. Whew, fuck all that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all that bullshit. Yeah, it makes you think. It really does. And if you guys haven't seen these films, if you've never heard of these films, you need to find them and check them out because it's something that would really be an eye opener. And it's something you really need to sit down and watch. Like, seriously, watch it. Don't watch it. Like, don't watch it for entertainment, though. Watch it to expand your mind. Don't watch it to be, like, entertained. Because if you're going to watch it to be entertained, you're, gonna, you're not going to like it. And if you're entertained by this, you're a fucked up individual. You should probably go seek some psychiatric help. <laughs> <laughs> These yes, they were good films. Like the way they portrayed the films, they were good. Yeah, but exactly. Was, yeah. You know what I mean? It wasn't like watching. Fucking, it's not like uh, like uh, Saving Private Ryan type fucking. Yeah, movie. something like that. This is like real life aftermath. Shit. I was gonna say that's I'll like, even use Tropic Thunder as another one, just because that's really more entertainment. I've never seen Saving Private Ryan, but I'm sure it's a more serious tone. So it, it, well, it's, yeah, that's another movie. It's like based on a, a true event, but it's it's portrayed differently. It's like like yeah, you said, exactly. like, there's a happy ending. There's, there's no aftermath. What really is going down? It, and, it, and I'm guessing the happy ending is what I said earlier about the people walking in slow motion, seeing their families. Their families are waiting for them, crying and all this and all excited. It, it, and it's like, it, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's that that is perfect. That is exactly then, what happens. Yeah. And, and there's an American flag flying. Yeah. And yeah. then there's maybe like 20 people that, I mean, of course, there's way more because it's war. But for the film's sake, there's maybe like 10 people that don't show up because they died in the war. You do see like, deaths and I think like going tiny. through a war, like crazy headshots and yeah, but like war stuff. But it's not the realistic, like th this portrayal. Yeah. This is they, like, because yeah, it, well, it's, it's different things because, like, you know, Saving Pride Ryan is like about combat, this is about aftermath. Yes, exactly. That's yeah. which would be a great title for either one of these films is aftermath. <laughs> but seriously, yeah. like this, these these films really do need to be seen just for the simple fact of education. Like I feel, 
this type of film would be good to show maybe in high school. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. yeah. I, and I'm not but, even... but like I was saying before, like this, this is something that they wouldn't show because this fucking scares people, man. Yeah, this, this shit scares people and it makes them want to like change the way that they view the world. You know, yeah. that's some dangerous shit. Because but, when people are suddenly like, wait, uh, I think we should get rid of nukes entirely. Yeah. And, and the I, government don't want pushback. But my thing back, with that, yeah. though, is I think that that's a, a great thing to do because it's like, yeah, okay, I agree. we don't need these type of weapons that can destroy fucking, like, like say, that could knock California or New York off the map with this, with the push of a yeah, button. With, with the push of a button. button. Literally just because with the technology they have now, they have technology that can probably, okay, look. I'm going to blow this house up right here. It's going to blow up the whole city, but I'm going to make sure that these people in this household die. Oh, first. yeah. I, I want this bomb to hit this toilet inside your house. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's even it's even crazier because, like, so with a nuke, I saw this video. This is crazy video where they talk about, like, because there's even the, – here's how, here's how accurate and scary these things are. There's a trajectory where the bomb needs to explode at a certain point mm-hmm. before it hits a certain – before it hits the ground to have a greater impact – in terms of killing. So the bomb is going to go to a certain point and then it's going to go, okay, it needs to explode at this point so that it can, it can get the, the highest kill radius. And the bomb is made to do that. No, it's not like it it don't blow up when it hits the ground. It'll blow up like a thousand feet in the air, then hit. It'll blow up a thousand feet in the air, which is going to kill more people. That yeah, is, they, and have an even bigger impact. It's yeah. it's like Jeez. you don't and just yeah. just imagine like if you don't even know the attack is coming, you're just out and about like, oh shit, what's that? But that's your last word. That that's fucking scary. That's fucking scary, dude. Yeah, like not, imagine you just yeah, and then the flat and then you're you're incinerated. You're incinerated. Now right. that person's lucky because what they die immediately. I'm not trying to make light of the situation, I'm not trying to make it funny. It's just like just imagine being out and about with the missus or with some friends. We're all out going to get some pizza. You know, smoke, drink, and you're just like, oh shit, what the fuck is that? And then that's it. Oh, there's no, there's no, what's that? You're, you're gonna go, oh, my eyes are gonna melt. Because if you see the blast, the brightness, they said this. No, so but I'm saying, like, like, say, if, say, if, say if there's a way where instead of seeing the blast, you're seeing the missile. Oh, you yeah, see the missile, you yeah. See yeah. The missile, yeah. You see the missile. <laughs> you see the missile flying over your head, yeah. Right before it explodes, even if yeah. like, okay, so the, you see the missile flying like it's a shooting star, and yeah, it's gonna fucking. I'll say this for you, James, because we're in fucking uh, upstate New York. It's it's supposed to hit Troy, but we're in Schenectady. We're gonna see that. It's gonna it's gonna get us too. Oh, <laughs> but, we're done. Yeah, we're not yeah. that far. <laughs> but yeah, we're I don't like know a half hour terms. That's like a half hour from us. <laughs> we're like a half hour from us. But I'm just saying, just seeing yes. the mis- just seeing it, and you're like, we oh, might shit. we might be in the zone where we die instantly. <laughs> yeah, we should be good. Be yeah, good. it'll be good. And that's what you want. You either want to die instantly, or you want to be really far away. But even I'd rather. I think. I think honestly, with this, I, I want to just die instantly. I, I because agree. because I, because I, even I, if I, even if you're like even if you're in the boonies and you live, your life is fucked, but, man. You you I, you have gone back to the Stone Age. Yes, if not Stone worse. Age. And the reason why the only reason why I say it, it's, it's not worse, worse is because yeah. the people from the Stone Age at that time were. After a few years, they were adapted to that livelihood. Us, we're not. We're used to having a roof over our head. We're used to having this house is already built. We're used to just fuck. Oh, let me just get up and fucking boom, 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 boom. I can shit and flush the toilet. I can hop in the shower. I can da, 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 da. I can do this with you guys. Now it's like all that is gone. Yeah, way more than that. But just all that is gone. All the yeah. fucking necessities. All the shit that we fucking take for granted and, I guess. and you know aaron the thing about it too is that there the difference too is like there are people that are like thirsty for getting back to what they had even though they can't you know yeah. that's the real problem is the people and it's going to breed a type of people like i was saying before there's it's going to it's going to self-select for a type of person who's going to i'm going to do whatever it takes to survive i'm going to steal i'm going to rape i'm going to kill i'm going to i just i have to because the world is fucked yeah. and you know, if I have to kill somebody and eat them, or steal their truck, steal their gas, you yeah. know, take take their wife, I'm Whatever. just gonna do it. And, hey, and yeah, you you have that. That's like the aftermath of all the fucking warship. But then you also have that person that's just like, I want to push that fucking button, which is I think that's the worst person yes. because <laughs> the reason why that's the worst person because they know what's gonna happen. They don't give a fuck. The people that happened, the aftermath as far as, like, 
not justifying it, but as far as like the murder, let's just say the murdering and the theft, let's not even throw rape in there, but the murdering and the theft and you're doing that to eat and survive, that's because of what happened. Pre- like, look, yeah. I don't know what else to do. Like I have guns. I don't have food. My next door neighbor, he has food. He doesn't have guns. So guess what? You know what I mean? And that's fucked up. It's fucked up. But that's what would bring, you know what I mean? So that's but someone pushed a button to put him in that situation. Exactly. That, yeah. That's why the person that pushed the button is the worst person because it's like, you're just sitting here in your little cushy office, cushy desk. And like you said, they know. They they sit in a room. They sit in a war room. And the, the guy says, okay, Mr. President or whoever, whoever this person is. Uh, so when we press this button, we're going to instantly kill 10 million people. Um, this is the blast radius. So outside of the radius, we have these these cities. So those people, and okay, this is another thing too, and this is what happened in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So one of the worst places to be was right outside of the blast radius. So basically it's like an oval, right? It's like a circle. Mm -hmm. But if you're right outside of the blast radius, you got hit by the blast, but you didn't die. So your ass went flying or something. You saw the explosion. Shockwave. You heard it, and then you lived, but you're dead because you're going to die from something. Yeah, and 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 most of the time it was like, um, uh, radiation poisoning killed yeah. killed you slowly. So they then know. Okay, so these are the people who are right outside of the radius. So they're good. Some of them are going to live. We know one percent of them will die. So that's like a million people. One percent of a million people will live, and then there's the other regions of people. So then there's another fifteen million people, and we know that half of them are going to die because they're going to starve, or they're going to fucking have to eat each other, or something, or they're going to start stealing from each other, raping, killing each other. And then they know that they can do nothing about it. They know that. They know that. They know. And so someone can lay it all out and be like, okay, this is this is what's going to happen. And then the person is, right, Aaron, if that, that person still presses the button, yeah. you are you are, you are are the worst you are human evil. being. Yeah. I, I'll put it to you like this. The, push, the person that pushes the button is the person that should be hit with the missile and the only person that should be affected by the missile. Because that right there is just, you're basically saying, I don't give a fuck about anybody. Because, yeah. and the reason why I'm also saying this is because, like, if you push that button, yes, you're shooting at another country and killing a bunch of people. And yes, you may destroy that country. There's going to be another country that's looking right at you. Like, okay, so these motherfuckers push that button real fast. They do one more thing. I'm pushing that button and I'm hitting them. So then it's like, okay, now you have a target on not your back, but the country's back. That The people's back. Yes, yeah. the people's back. Like, and again, I'm just at home, butt naked, eating cereal. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Then all of yeah. a sudden, I'm vaporized, minding my own black business because you guys have beef. And again, going back to what I was saying earlier, the brother Frank that gets killed, that you go and revenge that. You go and revenge that. You're locked up in a cell because you took revenge on someone that did something personally to you. And you, let's say you two are the two that go off to war being heroes. Again, nothing against the military. But I'm just saying, it's, it's just such a weird, fucked up thing. That yeah. needs changing. And that's another aftermath, too, is the, you did this to our country. So now years go by. Yeah. Like, it's happening now. Like, you say you take a plane to France. There is French that hate Americans. <laughs> there, just, you see what I'm saying? There's, there's yeah. multiple yeah, it, it's, things of it, it, aftermath. It's, it, it's a never-ending cycle because it's going to be, yeah. okay, you guys destroyed, like, you literally destroyed our country. You killed our women and children, men, women, and, and they children. look at you, but you had nothing to do with it. It was like 50 like years ago. You're like, yo, it wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> why you, why like, you hate we, me? We, you know, this happened 200 years ago. It's like, it's like we finally got on our feet. Exactly. 200 yeah. years later. <laughs> yeah. This, this is just 200 years ago where they're, 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 like, yeah. back, they're like back to normal. And, and like it, normal, it's like 1950s. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll even say a little bit higher. Let's say 19. Let's just give them the 80s. Let's give them the 80s just for yeah. shit's sake, right? It's like in another 100 years, we're going to have these weapons. We didn't forget what you guys did to us 400 years ago. Yeah. Hear that, white people? You racist? <laughs> <laughs> Not all. But you guys know what I'm talking about. But no, it's like we didn't forget that. So now you're still doing shit. But now we see how you're treating other countries. Okay, now we have the nukes too. So guess what? <laughs> We're gonna push that same button so you can go through all that. <laughs> well, yeah, well, the thing too is like at that point, whoever whoever was the first country to press the button, first off, hopefully that person who pressed the button would be a pariah and they would be hung and killed in the street. And then secondly, like let's say it was an American president pushed the button, I I, I suspected the way that it would work. Once you know, literally hundreds of years later, they'd be like, okay, so you guys cannot have 
be a part of civilization, society, and have nukes. Mm -hmm. Period. You can't. Mm -hmm. We won't allow you. And if you try to, we're going to either invade you or we're going to just nuke you because yep. we can't trust you guys with having that power because you destroyed, basically destroyed human civilization and brought us back to the fucking Stone Age mm -hmm. and put us through the worst, the wor basically one of the worst imaginable things for human beings to have to go through. Yeah, you know? because like we've all been saying, suffering is way worse than instant death. Like as far as this goes, as far as that war shit goes, where it's like literally everything you know, everyone you know can be just done. Let's say if you survive this, everything else yeah. is done. You can't go up the street to fucking Dollar General or Target or whatever and get yourself something to eat or whatever grocery store, Walmart, and get yourself, you know, something to eat, a jacket because you're cold because it's gone. Like it's gone. Fuck yeah. looting and rioting. It's gone. There's <laughs> nothing there. Fuck all that bullshit. It's gone because yeah. of this fucking power hungry fucking waving the little dicks around. Okay, I got a little dick, so I got to yeah. push this button. And one of the things they talk about in the war game is there's this great scene where they said, oh, yeah, the whole the everyone who lived has PTSD. Yeah. Um, everyone yeah. who's alive at that point, they all have some form of PTSD and they're all super fucked up and there's nothing we can do to help them. And, they're all shell shocked. I mean, honestly, how can't you like you're seeing where everything, you know, being destroyed, your you know, your loved one, your friends, your family your job, whatever, everything you know is destroyed to, like you said, the Stone Age. And it's like, my mind is, yes, I survived this. Yes, this happened 30 years ago, but I'm still <clears throat> fucked up. I'm still seeing these fucking images. I'm still smelling that burning flesh. I'm just, like, all that shit. Like, again, I'll use 9-11 for an example. There's people that were there in the city when that happened that were nowhere near the buildings that probably still... Maybe even around that time, probably still smell the burning flesh. There's people who ran into those buildings to help people, those heroes, that are still smelling that burning, like, all that shit to where it's just, like, it's fucked up. It's really fucked up. And I don't understand how people can easily do that to someone else. Like, okay, well, it's just weird. It's just, it doesn't yeah. make sense. And, again, like we've said multiple times on this, there shouldn't be, we shouldn't have <clears throat> the technology to do that. We shouldn't have the weapons to do that. We should actually have the complete opposite of Push that button to help people. Like push that button because these people are hungry. Push that button because these people don't have clothes on the back or they need more jobs. They stand the third. Push that button to fucking send money here to fi fix this infrastructure. All this other shit and be shit. This place would be great. This place would be a great place to live. And, and, yeah. and that's like that's like another great point because we spend and still to this day spend billions and billions of dollars perpetuating the system, especially like the way in the height of the Cold War we had a. I mean, it's very intricate getting into it, but like basically they had planes flying 24 seven that had bombs. And then they had a system where someone could always contact them. That's not cheap. That no. wasn't cheap at all. And so they, we spent tons of money that could have been done for anything else to have this first strike capability system always on call so that someone can press a button and kill billions of people and then perpetuate this type of aftermath. Yeah. yeah, and and again, now just imagine if all that <laughs> shit was put into helping other people, mending fences, helping other people, and all that other shit. To where everywhere around the world, everybody had a a legitimate house to live in, not like a hut or nothing. I'm not being disrespectful, but had like a legitimate house, running water, and all that other stuff, just to make their lives easier as far as that goes. And then you know they take care of the families or whatever. Every country, every city around the world had this, and. This world would be a, a totally different place. People wouldn't be living in fear, for one, because you wouldn't have to. It's like, okay, I don't, what the fuck is war? I don't know. Mm. It happened once, you know, years ago, and they fucking were like, this was a stupid idea. We should just sit down like adults and talk this <laughs> out, figure it out. But yeah. There's just <laughs> circle, man. Until someone breaks that circle, it's going to keep happening. And the oh. sad thing is, James, I don't see anybody breaking that circle because there's too many people that are just... It's like it's like it's almost bred into you. Like, okay, so look, we're America. We're number one. Here's who we're beefing with. You have to hate them too. That's basically how it is. They're evil because they did this, and then you're in another country or whatever. Okay, so America. I'm just using America. America. They're evil because of this. So it's like anywhere you're from, the other countries or whatever that your country's beefing with is evil because of blah blah blah, and you're the heroes. And that's just a fucked up thing. That's just a fucked up way of thinking. It really fucking is. 
It's a really fuck because I'm like, okay, you guys had beef years ago. Let's just fucking figure this out. Let's just solve it now and help each other out. Oh, shit, do you want to come here for vacation? Fuck, come on, man. Let's, let's go. Let's go get something to eat. Let me go learn your culture, too, and fucking figure out your foods and all this other cool shit. Because I like yeah. watching, again, with this movie, I like watching those things that are in other countries where you're watching those documentaries about their foods or just the travel. Just certain things are like, holy shit, this is pretty cool. Like, the traditions and all that stuff that they have, it's like, this is pretty cool. Why can't we just do this, like, all the time, all around the world? Just got to get to know each other's cultures and all this other cool shit and do shit like this with the podcasting, of course. I mean, this is another thing they could do. Listen, you guys have a live podcast. You guys have more than enough money to where you can have all the leaders on here just talking. Talk the shit out. Figure something the fuck out. I know you guys aren't listening because you're too busy. I say that in quotes. Stuffing your pockets with money and thinking of ways to destroy and take from others. But there's other ways to solve them shit. <laughs> Damn, I, know, I didn't feel like this. These war, I didn't feel like these two films would bring all of this out. Like just sitting down and it's one thing to sit down and watch them. And I know I said it's another thing to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I was gonna say there was there were some shows like yo this these movies I'm just thinking as I'm watching like I can't wait to say this, which I know I covered everything I was thinking of watching these films, but actually conversating and talking about it, and like how we're all on board basically with the same shit for the most part. Like one, this is fucked up. That's the name yeah. number one thing. And it's scary. It's very scary. It's yeah. it's probably the scary like surviving a the nuclear holocaust is maybe the scariest thing. For a human being, yeah. yeah, it really is, and I and I'm I'm also thinking of it as not even for myself. That's I know it's a weird thing to say, but it's like you think about it. If it hit here, you're think. My first thought is, okay, well, how are my parents? How are my nieces and nephews? How is my wife? How are my you know what I mean? How are my stepkids? How is how are the people that I care? My loved ones, basically. How are my loved ones? And then how is everybody else and their loved ones? Not how am I doing? Because it's like fuck, I'm having these thoughts. I'm obviously still here, fucked up. But how is everybody else doing? And how can we all rebuild from this? And it's just, it's a bad, it's a, it's horrible. And I hope that, again, I wish it would all stop. And this this goes to other countries as well. Like, I wish that other countries weren't getting destroyed as we speak right now. It's fucked up. It does, it's unnecessary. There's other ways of solving this shit. Because it's just, again, like I said earlier, oh, you know, you should learn history so you don't make the same mistakes. But we're still doing the same fucking shit. As humans, not us, but as humans, we're still doing the same shit, just in different ways because technology is different, intelligence is different, but you're basically doing the same shit. Okay, yeah. I want to do this, 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 this. I want all this. I want all the money. I want all the power. You know what I mean? I'm swinging my dick around. That's all it is. And it's fucked up. Yeah. Great. People never learn. Yeah. Yeah, I never learned. That's the thing about these war things. Like, you can go have a conversation all day. Oh yeah, we're get, it's like it's like as a society is getting smarter and dumber at the same time. I say dumber because you again you use the history term, but you're you use the history excuse of you know you, so it doesn't repeat blah 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 blah. But you're still doing the same bullshit. So, but you're smarter because of the technology and all the other shit and all the other things that we know and we've learned over the years. So it's like we're getting smarter and dumber at the same time as a society, and we need to just get smarter and care more. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy to just care more. You don't have to like everybody, but you don't have to kill anybody either. I think everybody should check these out, though. Yeah, I'll yeah, they're really good. And, and and like you were saying, like especially like both of them, like they're should be curriculum for like yeah. high school students. I, I really think they should. I yeah. really feel I was I almost said middle school. But middle school may be a little too young, but high school, high school the people need to see this. And then I feel like like if you're if you're somebody who's doing like a history major. You need to see this in college. Yeah. Like, you need to see this multiple. This is something you need to see. And then, shit, government. You need to yeah. be, as crazy as this may seem, you need to be required to watch something like this. Like, don't watch something like Save and Private. I'm not saying don't watch Save and Private Ryan, but you need to watch the Aftermath films. You need to watch these Aftermath films and documentaries because this is how people have to end up living because of you pushing that fucking button. Yeah, you yeah. Push that button. Yeah. And it's just the, these decisions, they're not just like in a vacuum. They have massive repercussions for yes. actual human beings. And it's it's bad enough that someone gets incinerated in a flash and dies. Mm -hmm. It's even worse when you survive and then you have to eat other human beings, you freeze mm -hmm. to death, you starve, you get different the like the, like like we're we're dealing with COVID, right? Yeah. Still. I mean, I, go ahead. And go like, ahead. imagine, imagine there's like five 
concurrently running pandemics because there's no infrastructure to stop all of the, the diseases from being managed. I'm going to use from what, again, because listen to the old Popcorn and Pines episodes. I don't remember what episode it said it. Chris from Popcorn and Pines, Caucasian Chris, he's, he's basically said, well, it was like one of our earlier episodes, of course, when COVID started, but um, he basically said COVID is, he said, it's like a video game and we're on the easiest level and we're failing. Yeah. It. <laughs> we're, we're playing the game on easy and we lost. And we're like losing. immediately. Yeah. Versus this shit, the war torn shit, like. You think COVID stuff, people, oh, my rights are getting taken away. Oh, fuck you. But you think COVID's bad. This is way worse because it's like, okay, do you have to deal with disease and everything else and having nothing to help yourself? Nothing at all. There's like, okay, fuck, I got this. I can't even get a shot for it. I can't get a fucking Band-Aid. I can't get something to eat. Yeah. Come on now, people. You really got to think. So we got to start caring about each other more. My, my skin uh, melted off because I was, I, I, I was pointed towards the blast. Yeah, and my face got burned, and Not, so I, mean, I'll, I'll I can't do anything to fix it. I'll, <laughs> I'll even go to yeah. the stuff that's not important, but the luxuries that we enjoy, which is this podcast, for example. Like, I love it. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I love podcasting. I love connecting. And I think these are important conversations. But this luxury right here that we enjoy would not even exist. It would be gone like that. And you wouldn't even the, – the, the thing about it that I don't think people think about is you wouldn't think mm-hmm. about that that of you know having this podcast or having that awesome car or having this that and the third having all that money because it's like none of that shit's gonna matter like yo this is war torn all that one even though i'm rich what the fuck am i gonna buy all the stores (laughs) are blowing up around me what the fuck am i gonna buy no now (laughs) it's i don't fucking know i really don't know and the other thing too is you can't at that point you can't trust anyone outside of your own little circle you can't trust them yeah, and yeah, exactly. people are gonna people are gonna start distrust because like you're be like, well, you you know that guy he could he could rape you, he could kill you, he could, yeah, exactly. he could so eat you. Basically, what it would be is the Z network and their family and loved ones as like one group. Let's just let's use that as an example versus everybody else, and then them in their groups versus everybody else because like I gotta fucking survive. And then once your people get knocked off, this and the third, and it's like okay, now I have to join forces with this person across the fucking street. Because it's just me and these two, and it's just them. It's just them by themselves. It's just one person. And what if what if your neighbor is a totally insane? What if your neighbor believes in conspiracy theories and they've got a stockpile of guns, and they think mm. that you're brainwashed, and they come out guns blazing on you? Very true. So you guys live, and you're like, hey, hey, uh, neighbor, you know, like we need to like band together, and he comes out with a fucking AK on your ass. Yeah. And. Now you got to kill your neighbor. Yeah. You know? Like it's, it's basically. <laughs> and, and with that being said, it's, it's in a situation to where it's like, un, it's an unavoidable situation where you have to, you literally have to do what you got to do to survive. Unlike you, Kyle, fuck you, you pussy. <laughs> yeah. See how I did that? Not, not our, not our guy. Kyle, <laughs> Kyle and his bitch ass mother. Fuck you both. But it, right but, and the oh, reason shit. why I'm bringing that in here is because it makes sense. Like, that was 100% avoidable. <laughs> Stay home. This is 100% not avoidable. This is where our self-defense case would make more sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's <laughs> a type of shit because, like, I have to do this. God damn. But, uh, yeah, it's... <sighs> yeah, I, th- I, think, I think we've said everything we need to say. Yeah, we do. A good episode. Oh, this was great. Um, this there's was a great lot to talk about, though. But... Yeah, that's, that's, that's really... I think we kind of hit the core of like why I feel like these films are so important is like nobody really thinks about this. And like, again, I, I brought up the, the Russian guy uh, mm-hmm. who basically single handedly stopped a nuclear war from happening during the Cuban Missile Crisis. Like you, the human race is very close to having this happen. And yes. we still have these weapons that are capable of doing this. And that's like, why? Why do we have why do we have these weapons that can do this? Power. To anyone, even even our worst enemy, why would we do this to them? Yeah, exactly. Power Be, because people don't think of the aftermath. People don't think of it's it's one of those things where again, going back to nine eleven, right? Where when that happened, it was all you heard was, and I even then again, I thought it was wrong. I was a freshman in high school. We should just go over there and blow up the whole country. Why? For what? Because of whoever did nine eleven, which we don't, we really don't know who did it. We really don't. Know. Um, but we're I mean, I mean, but it's like it's like twelve people. 
Yeah. You're gonna blow up a country because of twelve people. Yeah. So that means, so that means all the innocent women and children, men, women, and children that had nothing to do with it. You're gonna who kill don't them. even who don't even know what the United States is. They don't know. Yeah, exactly. They don't. They don't, they don't know what the twin tower, twin towers. What's that? I don't, and people are just like, know. oh, well, they came here. I'm like, okay, so I'm like, all right. So hold on a second. So when we go over there and do that same exact shit to somebody else, and then they want to come and do it back out of retaliation, we're the heroes. We're right, and they're wrong for wanting to retaliate for what you did to their country. Come on, wake the fuck up, people. That's what we got to say. Mm. That being said, let's pull this up, people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we'll get right back, right to doing it again. Yeah, because this is one of those conversations where it could be like six hours or longer. Yeah. But uh, people tune into Horror Research 30 every Tuesday and Thursday night, which in a little bit, after I do these plugs, I'll show you guys what we're doing, what we have coming up. So every Tuesday, Thursday, 9 o'clock Eastern time, tune into Horror Research 30. You're going to get some fun shit. Thursdays is commentary episodes, which Ibrahim, I love you on a commentary episode. I'll tell you off the, off the air about that. Every Tuesday and Thursday, 9 o'clock Eastern time, check that out. Popcorn and Pints live every saturday night nine o'clock eastern time and again i'll show you what's coming up for that but make sure you guys check that out tonight nine o'clock eastern time it'll be us three and two more talking about some fun films <clears throat> stories from a bar everywhere you listen to podcasts including facebook instagram and twitter go follow that go check that out deep focus in you want to deep dive on something that we, we just did right now go there that's all you're gonna get from that fucking awesome podcast Deep focus cinema facebook youtube everybody can listen to podcasts and here's what we have coming up tonight Popcorn and Pints, we're doing straight out of Compton, coming to America. How do they connect? Find the fuck out when you tune in 9 o'clock Eastern time. Tuesday, you guys know it's Thanksgiving Day. It's Thanksgiving week, so we're doing Thanksgiving 1 and 3. You know how I feel about part 1. And, you know, I'm not crazy about part 3, but we're going to do it <laughs> every year, Tuesday before Thanksgiving. So make sure you guys tune in 9 o'clock Eastern time. And, yeah, and uh, boom, <coughs> coherence and prime. I cannot wait to watch these fucking films, especially... <laughs> coherence just because of the cover i'm sure it's going to be great you'll know during the week whatever we're going to talk off the air when we're going to be recording it but make sure you guys tune into all this shit and uh yeah thanks for uh tuning in peace people have a great day fuck war watch this